you want to do the interview after this? Yeah, right, I didn't sure. even know what was happening today. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's good. Okay. Okay. I just had a tour. So, so, so I got this, an uh, uh, interview with Kelly Vaughn after these matches. Yeah, right after this uh, motorcade that's Derek in support of us. Thank you. Kaden Clark. Natasha McKenna. Sandra Flynn. Kenneth Ferguson. <laughs> Stay right there. Thank you, have a nice... I'm going to go to the middle school right there. Okay, great job. Thank you. 
got the keys to the car. You got the keys. You got the keys to the car. You got the keys to the car. Do I need a chair? You good? All right. Hi, Miss Kelly Vaughn. So, how's everything today? Everything is great. We just had a car caravan come through to support us. Uh -huh. uh, so, we're still here, day 122. 122 days. 122 days. Wow. So, I'm sure everybody saw Donnell's live. Uh huh. Um, it was a shocker. It was a shocker because I had just talked to Donnell Tuesday. I have no reason why. Mm -hmm. and people trust you. So I'm going to show you the message in the time. Today. I don't want you to show it on the live. Okay. But you're enough. You can validate what I'm saying. All right. So. All right. So you can this, stay live. Right. You can stay live. I'm gonna show it to you though. Uh huh. So you, what you gonna show me? I'm gonna show you the text messages. Okay. Okay. Right. So this past, okay, I'll take it back two weeks before that. Well, I'll take it back to the beginning. I want to address the lawsuit thing since it seems to be the buzz everywhere. Uh huh. We don't take in a lot of money on Cash App. I don't know why people think that this is Cash App is hitting like anybody else's. It does not. It really doesn't. We may take in a hundred or so a weekend. Maybe. But when you have $17,000 in legal fees, what is that going to do per week? Nothing. Right. Exactly. It's not going to do anything. It's going to do something, but it ain't going to be much. Right. And so knowing that, I supplemented what needed to happen with the legal fees. Because if you need to file an answer to a lawsuit and you don't have the money to pay, it's not going to get filed. Mm -hmm. Lawyers want their money first right. before they do anything. Exactly. They don't just bill you later and act for you. So knowing that since day one... I set up a legal trust. It is not the same as when you retain a lawyer. What a trust for a protest does, it it allows me to make payments into it before anything legal happens. And then when something legal does come down, it allows me to divide those funds into different accounts. Those accounts become whoever's under litigation. So when we first started collecting, it was for criminal lawyer fees. The million dollar suit does not take a criminal lawyer. It takes a civil lawyer because it is a civil suit. It's not anything that anybody's charged with stuff. It's that Vince's Crab House and their supporters are alleging things and alleging that they've missed out on money that they could have had had we not been out here protesting. They call it criminal protesting. There is no such term. That is a term that somebody white and privileged made up. Once a protest goes criminal, it is a riot. For instance, we can be out here protesting all day, but if we haven't damaged their business, if we haven't damaged their homes, this is a protest. The moment somebody breaks a window, spray paints, steals, loops, mm. that's a riot. There is no such thing as criminal protest. Mm -hmm. So that made up term, it doesn't exist in the legal world. And I thought it was just them being ignorant to the fact that it doesn't exist. But even their lawyer said and Pat McDonough. So all of them are misguided and they probably need to get a new legal team. If you ask me. Mm -hmm. But whatever, they're doing what they're doing. Donnell, to this day, still has lawyers that I paid for. The group app did not do everything that needed to be handled with that. Because the amount just for his criminal litigation, and let's be clear, there's not just one case. There was a bail review that had to be paid for. Mm -hmm. There was a trespass that had to be paid for. 
there was um what's the other charge uh mass threat of arson that had to be paid for and then there was another trespass that had to be paid for so you have multiple cases that a, any lawyer is never going to group together and say oh okay well for one retainer fee i'll cover you on all of this because even with the case that brenda bought against him for the uh for uh the peace order that was paid for he went to court and won that with his lawyers not by himself he didn't represent himself he was represented by a lawyer so to say that i didn't cover his legal fees is an out and out lie and even after he left on his own accord because of something that happened while i wasn't even here i made it very clear to him i gave i printed out every lawyer receipt i gave it to mr bill i said mr bill if he should come up here because i went to a meeting that day i said if he comes up here please give him these receipts and tell him that these are the cases that are paid for right now so to say oh well y'all should be asking about our cash app and where did the money go a big chunk of the money went to his legal fees because if you're looking at retainers that are about two thousand dollars a pop do you really think we bought in that much money on cash app and then having to feed everybody every day having to supply drinks ice tents we bought two tents before they broke during that hailstorm that came down, so they went in the trash. We had to get two more tents. We only bought one, and then two others were donated, and then another one broke. This is the stuff that you encounter when you have people out here. You gotta buy a new cooler. We also, in the midst of everything we're doing, seek to donate. So we donated a grill to the fire department on Labor Day. We did the free crab giveaway, the group didn't pay for it. It came out of my pocket and Ricky's pocket, the first one. The second one came out of my pocket and some of the protesters sponsored some of the crabs. So we're doing our due diligence with it. My issue is that for as much as Darnell went live, and I will give him his props publicly, he did cover this protest. He did direct a lot of attention to this protest through his lives. Absolutely, he did. I will never take that away from him. As you did. I want to publicly thank you, Mr. Larry, because right. no matter what anybody says, you played your part. And I'm not saying that in a negative way, but you brought attention. You was up here day one, had lives everywhere, was inside the crab house, was outside the crab house, continued to come, continued to cover it. That stuff I can never take away from y'all, ever. No matter what anybody says, does, or thinks their opinions, that's what y'all did. Y'all did y'all thing. And I give both of y'all props for that. You post your cash app on your page because this is your media. You have every right to do it. Ain't nothing I can say about it. I can't regulate and tell you not to post your cash app. It takes you gas to get here. It takes you a, a decent phone. Uh, it takes you a phone bill. Mm -hmm. I can't regulate any of that, nor would I. With Darnell, same thing. He was posting his cash app, but he didn't post the group's cash app. He did not. And other than cheese steaks here and there for a couple of people on the line a couple days and himself, and other than a $60 letter, why isn't anybody peering into the receipts in his cash app? He didn't pay anything towards his lawyer defense, and it was him. Now, as a part of the protest, of course, I'm going to try to make sure that everybody is straight. That's just the kind of person I am. But it's not illegal for me not to, because everybody out here is an adult. So you get in trouble, you're an adult. Nobody really is held to the law to have to cover anything. However we did i have the receipts i'm not showing them to you live right, but i do right, have the receipts right. and you'll see them and you can validate it as much as you want to i even posted some receipts but to sit up there and say that ricky and kelly vaughn didn't pay any of my lawyer fees be specific now you left the protest that was your choice to do in leaving the protest you also got on the news with two other individuals and came for this whole movement. 
you said on the news this is not a protest this ain't a real protest uh, they ain't really doing nothing this and the other fine that's your opinion but I'm not gonna be expected to pay after you decide to leave for any other litigation I closed out the criminal litigation account and closing it out I mean I paid it off it's done he has a lawyer unlike what he said Thursday he has a criminal lawyer matter of fact the last time he was arrested I made sure the people that needed to know the lawyer's information had it so I'm sitting at home on Thursday trying to figure out where is all this coming from and why not set the record straight and tell the truth about it? Now, for him to say, I don't talk to her, I'm not in touch with her. Last Thursday is when he put out his statement. I talked to Darnell Wednesday. September the 22nd, I talked to Darnell via text message. There was a rumor out that myself and Candace Green were suing him. I wanted him to know directly from me that wasn't true. I called him. He did not answer the phone. I left a message. I left a voicemail. After I left the voicemail, I get this message. The message says, on September the 22nd, 5.04 p.m., did someone call me? I said, yes, sir, I did. He goes, who is this? Obviously, he had erased my number. I said, Kelly, I left the voicemail. He said, hey, what's up? I said, the voicemail is what it was. Listen to the voicemail, you got it. Wednesday, last Wednesday, just look at my phone. Last Wednesday. Can you see that? What's one? It says Wednesday right here. See that? Okay. Okay. See the one above it? Uh huh. See what that says? Uh, that was the week before. Right. Right? Uh -huh. So Wednesday, this is last Wednesday. Uh huh. It says, hey, mind you, first message ain't come from me. Hey, just checking on you to see how you're doing. I said, hey, I'm good. How are you? He said, I'm good. Thanks for asking. Don't be a stranger. LOL. I said, I just called you last week. He goes, I was in Towson for a weekend last week. I said, that was two weekends ago. I called you Tuesday to tell you that the rumor that me and Candace was suing you was false. You don't remember that? He goes, oh, okay. I got your message. I'm glad you left a message. I said, yep. He goes, so are you suing me? LOL. I said, oh my God. You ain't got no funds. Shoot. He right. goes, I know. I'm just kidding. Right. As long as you're good. That was the message mm -hmm. on Tuesday. The next message is from me Thursday after I'm hearing about his live dogging us for not paying lawyer fees. Mm -hmm. Now, if you leave the movement and we get lawyers after you're gone, no, I am not going to cover you in million dollar litigation after you go out here against the movement on TV. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that. You just stood with people who were deemed as ex-protesters and you said this whole movement is a joke. She didn't pay nobody, but this movement is a joke. I'm moving on to other stuff. And then he went to Wisconsin. So why should I then be expected to pay for his million dollar litigation? Why should the people that contribute to the cash app be expected to cover his litigation. If that be the case and he separated himself, then take your support over to his cash app. But I'm not gonna be expected to do that. In addition to that, I met with him face to face before we had our 100th day celebration with Renee at Fridays in White Marsh. And I told him to his face, I didn't like what you did at the press conference. Your criminal cases are paid for. I cannot cover you in the million dollar litigation. You have to file an answer. You have to get a lawyer. Anybody can ask for nation was there. He said, okay, he understood. So for all this stuff to come back on Thursday, I'm like, we had this conversation. What, excuse me. What, what is he, Donnell Williams, expecting you to do to pay his, is is a million what dollar I lawsuit? And he was saying that me and Ricky lied about it, but we didn't lie. We said that we covered his criminal cases. That's what we did. Mm -hmm. I have the receipts. I have the receipts. 
And no, I'm not gonna post them where the Lynn Williams can see them and all of that because really, they don't have anything to do with this. Donnell was given the receipts. He has the lawyer's office information. He just called there Friday. Why? Because I was there making sure I paid everything. Printed it down. So, so it also, Chet is getting on the, the line with him saying that his lawyer fees is not paid. So his lawyer fees were paid out of the trust that I talked about before. As You're talking are, about Chet, right? Yeah, talking mm -hmm. about Chet. As are some of them for other people that have, it's two other people that have criminal cases. I messaged Chet and Chet even put it on his personal page. Our conversation in the inbox on Facebook. In that conversation, I said to him, because his charge is very simple. It's not murder. It's not even, it's a misdemeanor. It is a simple trespass charge. That's it. That's all it is. Anybody that knows anything about trespass charges, usually they'll make you pay a fine, if anything. And the fine is not a $5,000 fine. It'll be like $90 to $200 like a ticket like a simple traffic ticket or something so i told him in his inbox so you can go to his page and look at it you'll meet with the lawyers in october the lawyers did not want to meet with him before the middle of october his case is at the end of october and it's a simple trespass charge it's not anything where evidence has to be gathered or any of that it's a trespass charge. It's like getting a ticket. Really it is. Do we need a lawyer for that? Or? He doesn't really need one. Uh -huh. Mr. Bill has a similar one. He's not even taking a lawyer. So they making... Uh, a mountain out of a molehill. Right. And, 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 uh, and so how, how come everybody, every like once they leave the protest, they always want to bash what you've done, what you're not doing, but when they with you, is everything good? I have no idea. I will say this, for anybody that has been taken off of our group or whatever, it's because they sought to be destructive to the movement. For Chet to go on Darnell's live and say what he said without telling me how frustrated he was because that's not what I got from him when I had just talked to him Saturday. I felt like that was destructive. You're going to go out here on a public platform, but you ain't never told me how frustrated you are with me. It's just simple, basic adult stuff that does not happen. And I don't have time, nor do I have energy to deal with that kind of stuff. Even another person that left, she went out against the movement publicly on somebody else's page. When I peeped it, I picked up the phone, called her, and you know, then she wanted to have a conversation. No, you talk to me about your grievances or your upsets before you go out there publicly. Because the, the thing that I hate to put out there is division amongst us. And it shouldn't be. When we're all supposed to be one, what do you look like doing that? And you haven't even talked to me about your little frustration. And it's not a whole lot to ask for. It's just maturity at the basic level, which a lot of people I'm finding out don't really submit to. So with that being said, I will show you the receipts. Turn the camera that way. You can look at the receipts, but okay. nobody else can. Right, right, right. But you tell me this. Uh -huh. See that? Bell is there. See that? Uh-huh. See that amount? Yep. Don't say it? Uh-huh. Okay? What day was that? July 13th. That didn't just happen, right? Nope. This is my information. This is my information. Uh -huh. I paid it. Right. Right? Yep. He's still in there at that point. Uh-huh. The next one. This has the case number, but it's still for him. Right. And they attached a power of attorney to it. Mm -hmm. That's the amount. Right. That's the date. Yeah. That's the time. Mm -hmm. I'm the account holder. Yep. That matches the same last four as this. Mm -hmm. Does it not? Yep. Okay. That's a lot of money. Next one. Mm -hmm. These are all different. These are not the same dates. But they're all, see, look at the total amount. This is the payment right. I made. That's right. the balance on it. This is my number. Right. This is me. Mm -hmm. That's the case number. Yeah. It's coming out of a trust. Right. Like I said. Mm -hmm. These are the lawyers at the top. This comes from the law office. Right. Then, same person. There's another one. 
There's another one. Right. Here I am. Yep. There's a date time. All that stuff is different, right? Uh-huh. Yep. Here's another one. Different date, different time, yep. different payment, uh-huh. all that. Here's another one. Yep. Different dates, uh-huh. different times, right. same number, yep. all that. Well, That's just the printed ones. Uh-huh. I have handwritten ones at home in a folder. Well, I see, I see with my own eyes what you pay. Oh, I know, and that's only <laughs> yeah. a that's only a chunk. Well, that is well, not the complete amount. I see. The other it. thing that was called. So about he was, was saying that you're not doing nothing. You didn't do all that. I didn't do any of it. I lied. Really why would lied. Why would they say that? I don't know. And without know. you know, so you already got the proof oh, and the I've putting. I've been here to proof. I've been had the proof, and he had the proof. So to say that, I'm like, what is really going on? So the real thing is, no, he is not covered in a million dollar seat and will not be. Because you go on the news first. Then you talk to me, fine. You come up for the hundredth day and I'm gonna address that too. You leave, you moving on the big and better. And then out of nowhere, you come out with this slot like I didn't pay any lawyer fees ever. Mm-hmm. So what I had was people from his group wanting a refund. You can Wait a me. minute. So you saying people from his group want a refund for what? Some people, not all of them. Right. And it was made. It was for. It was for a people. refund for what? Cash app? Yeah. How can people get cash app back? I, I don't understand that. You but can, can you explain? Cash app. You no, can but I'm saying, it. why do they want a, a refund? Because if they're being told directly from him that none of his lawyer fees are covered, then they feel like they were told they were giving us something and it was false. I can understand that. Mm-hmm. But can but all they had to do is is come and talk to you like you just showed me. They didn't do that. So what I had Thursday night, Friday morning, Friday during the day to Friday evening was people that were completely confused and they had every right to be, and people that actually wanted their stuff back. I don't have a reason to lie about money. Mm. I don't have to steal cash app money right, right now, and our cash app is well under. Two hundred dollars mm-hmm. from this weekend, right. and I asked people not to even donate to it because this whole thing put me in a position where I'm just like, well, just don't give that. Mm-hmm. So the hundredth day, I did not try to get him arrested, nor did I try to get him barred from the premises. Somebody had his phone; they were on live. He was down the street here talking to somebody. The person had his phone person decides to cross over into the parking lot but they have his phone and they have it on live coming from his personal page they're looking at his live inside they call the police and say Darnell is in the parking lot Mm -hmm. Darnell was not in the parking lot Darnell was down the pavement talking to somebody somebody else had his phone right that had never been trespassed off of property or anything Mm -hmm. they crossed into their parking lot the police came to me because the police didn't know that Darno really wasn't with us mm-hmm. and he just came for the 100th day celebration. Right. They came to me. Um, where's Darno? I said, for what? Um, because he crossed into the parking lot. I said, no, he did not. I pointed down the street. I said, that person had his phone. He was down here talking to somebody. I turned around and I said, ain't that right, Darno? And he said, what? I said, Darno. Why aren't you just down the street talking? He said, yeah, but why? I said, I turned back around to the officer. I said, sir, that person has his phone. He don't even have his phone on him right now. Mm-hmm. It wasn't him. He was like, I understand, but they looking at his live and they can't see who's behind the camera. Mm-hmm. All, all we being told is he crossed into the parking lot. I said, well, he didn't. I said, and there's plenty of people out here that can tell you that he mm-hmm. didn't. And if he did, they can check their own cameras. Tell me where you saw him go in the parking lot. I stood up for him. I did not try to get him arrested. Right. In the same token, I was told there was a blind warrant for his arrest. I did warn him of the blind warrant as I had earlier that week. I knew somebody was working on that. Mm-hmm. So I told him, I said, you don't have to leave. I'm not telling you what to do. But it's a blind warrant. For, for being in the parking lot, I said, it's a blind warrant. I don't know what it's for. Right. But, you know, you can make your own decision. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. Okay. Not a problem. 
went back to what I was doing, finished up my press interviews, came over here, left, took my son to work, went, picked him up, took him home, came back out here, talked to you that day on the corner, mm -hmm. grabbed my chin and stuff, and went home. So to say I wanted to put him off on a hundred day, oh, I wanted to get him arrested, that's not true. Mm -hmm. It's just simply not true. And I'm trying to figure out why you just can't go ahead and do your movement but not dog somebody else in the meantime. Especially when it's not fixed. Now, Chet's lawyer was paid for. What happened? Chet's lawyer was paid for. What's that? They wanted Chet. Uh -huh. They wanted to meet with him in the middle of October. So that's what I told him. I, I messaged him and I said, they'll meet with you in October. I saw him two Saturdays ago, and I said, oh, it's going to be the middle of October. His case is the end of October. Apparently, that wasn't good enough for him. But, again, I found out through what people were telling me from Darnell's life. I don't have Darnell's page. So, I'm like, why would you say that? When I sat there and communicated with you, and I told you when they were going to do it, well, his frustration was he's been waiting three minutes, three months to talk to the lawyer. But again, the lawyers are like to talk about it then when it's not to the end of October. And see, this is the other thing. A lot of people that are charged with stuff, their cases have been pushed to next year. One of them was supposed to have been Christmas Eve. It's pushed to April of next year. One of them was supposed to have been... Um, October is pushed to May of next year. And all this stuff is public record. Mm -hmm. um, so they were thinking, really, his will probably either be dropped or pushed too. But either way, let's just meet about it in the middle of October. Right. So if there was a frustration with that and you've been waiting for three long months, tell me that. Mm -hmm. It's not like you haven't talked to me face to face. It's not like you haven't talked to me a messenger. So give me the same thing that you want to give everybody else. But he didn't do that. So yes, I deleted him from the group. Because to me, that's very untrustworthy of you. If I just talked to you Saturday. So you're talking about Chet. So Chet deleted because basically he talked to you, but he letting people know he didn't talk to you. And no. twisting the words around? No, it wasn't that. It was that when I talked to him that Saturday, he didn't give me any of the frustrations he gave everybody else okay. on Thursday. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if you felt like that, I'm not saying you don't have the right to feel like that because what he said is true. It's my defense. I'm the one that has to face the charge. I get it. No, it's not murder. But maybe it's, you know, bigger for him than it would be for anybody else. I respect that. I understand it. However, before you broadcast your frustrations to the world, let me know. Yeah. Ain't nobody putting you off. But it really is a simple trust phase. Have you ever got a trespassing charge? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but they throw it out. They dropped it. They usually do. Yeah. It's very hard to prove unless you have surveillance. I did have a trespassing that. charge for a bogus charge that um my own house they told me to leave. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so they when I came back in the house, they He's put a trespassing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But it was thrown out when I went to court. Yeah, I got you. But it's See, very they simple. they build up trespassing. To, they have something to stick on right. you. Right. Exactly. And they throw it away. Throw and then it out. they throw it away. Mm -hmm. Normally. Right. So, I'll take into account that maybe that wasn't the case for him. Maybe that wasn't going to be the case for him. Who knows? But there was no way he was going to go to court and not be represented. Now, he put out there that he has his own lawyer. And then he went through the whole spill of when you hire a lawyer, this is what happens. And he's absolutely right. Except for I opened up a legal for all protesters. Right. So, no, it didn't happen in that order. And yes, I did sign documents not on his behalf, but on behalf of the trust. And whoever I rolled into the trust would be represented. So, we never got him to that point. He has his own lawyer. So, that's fine. I paid his legal fees and I rolled them because it's in a trust over to somebody else's. Now, when you said roll them, what that mean? Like, that means they transfer off of his case. I took the case out of the lawyer system because he indicated that he has his own lawyer. Okay. So I don't have to cover him. Right. Okay. So it's also some 
what you call it, rumors about a hundred thousand dollars. You don't have to get into this or not. You, What's the rumor about a hundred thousand uh, uh, dollars? You talking about the minister's conference? Yeah, what is uh, that? Stephen Copeland is simple as what, I don't know what why. is that? I Ask mean, any other church that received the money. No, it did not all go to Art Church. It went to the minister's conference. Mm -hmm. And there were other churches that received those funds because they had their ducks in a row. Their 501c3. Right. Their legal documents. Their bylaws. Mm -hmm. All that stuff that a church would need to get grant funds from Verizon they had. And those churches were awarded the money. Right. It did not just come to my church. Right. So that's it just was, a rumor. I just wanted you to know. It's a that's, bad rumor too. Yeah, because yeah. they were even featured in the sun. All the pastors that got their grant money. They mm -hmm. were featured in the Baltimore sun. They did a story on it. Right. Check the records. Look at the archives. It's in there. So for someone to, to, to make rumors and false accusations. Someone must have been disqualified because they didn't have a 501c3 mm -hmm. and they weren't a church. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't just community money. It Verizon sectioned it out for churches. Mm -hmm. So. So they can just stop that rumor and, you know. Or they can do their research. Or they can do their research. Either one. Right. Anything else, Kelly? I appreciate that you give me this opportunity to, you know, you deserve uh, it. I mean, it to, to really let them people know what's going on because, you know, I understand how people can be uh, misguided and mislead. Oh yeah. So I just appreciate that you came on my platform and cleared it out. Absolutely, absolutely. I was gonna do that because I mean, I can have my own platform, this, that, and the other. And I do not discredit what you, as the media, have done for mm -hmm. this movement. Thank you. And I don't even discredit what Darnell has done with this movement. I just wish facts would be stated. So if you're going to say, I, as of right now, I don't have a lawyer, be very clear. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lawyer for the million dollar suit. And then be clear about how you found out you didn't have a lawyer for the million dollar suit. Mm -hmm. But everything because else it wasn't was underhanded. Everything. It wasn't like it just came out out of nowhere and he was taken by storm by it. He was taken off guard. Mm -hmm. There was a whole face-to-face -face conversation. I didn't even text it to him. Right. And when there was going to be a warrant produced for his arrest, I definitely, as soon as I found out about it, got him the information. So for him to sit there and act like he didn't know whatever else, just like, okay. Just be real about it. Tell the truth. Okay. That's it. So that's it? That's it. There you go, folks. Um, I appreciate it. So anything else you'd like to tell the people? Is it something that y'all like to do as far yeah. as taking care of the community, helping yeah. them out? So we're doing, um, we doing a couple of things this month. Number one, we'll be supporting Collins Seafood on Lock Raven the whole month of October. That is our black business of the month that our group is going to support. So, Collins Seafood is located, I think, at 1728 East Lock Raven Boulevard. Um, go over there. They have fantastic food, drinks. It's black-owned. Um, just a good atmosphere. So, we're going to do them. Last month, it was um, smacking seafood, still praying that he comes out of his situation all right. Um, and then we are doing Thanksgiving baskets in Middle River for five families. And it's not going to be junk baskets. It's not going to be Kraft macaroni and cheese. It is going to be all the essentials to make a real Thanksgiving meal. No canned sweet potatoes. It's going to be fresh. No glory greens. It's going to be fresh collards. It's going to be smoked, uh, smoked turkey nuts that you can put in there. Everything you would need to realistically provide a nice meal for your family a turkey and a ham mm -hmm. and we are going to uh, get those baskets together and then we're going to get in our cars and caravan to these people houses put the basket on the porch and clap it up for them because when you are helping families in need they don't need to feel no shame we will not be broadcasting it on live because i'm a firm believer that um if somebody's in need you don't sit up and put that predicament out there i know plenty of mothers right now that have come to me for help, that I'm not gonna sit there and take a selfie with them because I, it's not about me, it's about helping them and I don't need any props for it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do it, we don't need no props for nobody, we're gonna celebrate these people because I do believe that the families that are selected, I 
hardworking individuals in this community. They're fighting their way to be here. And so we're going to be there for them when they need it. Right. Um, so is it so something if, like, if can people so um, if, contribute or yeah, donate to this? Yeah, if people want to give to it, because we are not going to mix funds for that, they can give to um, the cash app, the community, GB. The community, spell, spell, the, the community. community, GB. Give back is what GB stands for. So it's dollar sign the community, GB. Okay. And um, if anyone wants to donate to that initiative, please do. And uh, we appreciate it. It's COVID, so we're not going to be collecting non perishables um, that people bring. We don't know what conditions they've been in. Mm. No, we're going to take it. We're going to shop, shop, shop hard for it. Uh, we are inviting people to go shopping with us because, you know, it's a big task to undertake for five families and you're mm -hmm. doing four meals. Somebody, uh, a business owner, already donated all five turkeys. Mm -hmm. So now we're working on all five hams. And we'll just keep going until we make them a good meal. I mean, like, heat and serve rolls even. We're, mm -hmm. gonna, we're not going to leave out the details. Right, yeah. right. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so once oh, again. Oh, and then we'll also be giving out candy uh, to the children in the community for Halloween. So Halloween is coming now. So which one going to come first? The dinner or the Halloween? The Halloween. Because the dinner is for Thanksgiving. Right. So we're going to make sure that they have it like Monday. Okay. Because people like to start prepping for their meal and stuff uh, early in the week. So, yeah. So Halloween, tell us about the Halloween. Get back to the uh, Halloween, we're kids. just going to have it nice and safe for the children. Uh, we'll be down here giving out candy. Um, the community knows us by now and they know we're here every day we give the children snacks every day they come and they just go right in our cooler because they know they can uh, so halloween we're gonna make sure we're out here being vigilant for the children still protesting but you know watching out for the little ones and making sure they straight we're gonna give them some candy so how can people donate to the uh, halloween it is, is it the same it's 100 percent fronted by the uh protesters so we got that okay we got that so you still be out here, right? Oh yeah, every day. All right. Yep. There you go. Yep. Thank you, Miss Kelly Vaughn. Thank you. Appreciate Sorry. you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate keep it up, man. Get up his cash app, please, y'all. There Today, you go. I will be doing it. Please follow my uh -oh. lead. Uh-oh. Thank you. Thank That's you, Miss right. Kelly. All right. All right. There you go, folks. Once again, that was the that was the uh, y'all hear that was the uncut version. Kelly Vaughn, the exclusive, exclusive interview. And you all got the details. I witnessed with my own eyes. Let me take my mask off so y'all can see what I'm talking about. I witnessed with my own eyes that the, the receipt that the, these attorneys was paid. And there wasn't no chicken scratch, no chicken scratch payments. So, uh, take my word. I don't know if all of you going to take my word, but I witnessed, you know, I'm the uncut guy. This was like money after money after money, and it was paid. All right? So, thank you, Miss Kelly, Ron, and I appreciate you. And uh, there you go. You got the exclusive about the attorneys, and the fees was paid. So... There you go. You just heard the breaking news from Uncut News. Larry the Celebrity Can Driver Wallace. I'm here live here at the Vince Crab House in Middle River. Just got finished with the exclusive interview with Kelly Vaughn. All right. And also, folks, you just heard about the, um, the rumor going on with the the money you found out what's happening all right so no need to, to ask me questions you heard it live from kelly vaughn out of own mouth what's happening so i will be out here uh, for another maybe 30 minutes and see if i can um, get exclusive with uh, kim and young blood at three o'clock so i'm ready for that interview i'll be here join us back 
at what time? Three o'clock. If it don't go down to three, I'll catch y'all next time. I'm Larry Wallace, Celebrity Care Driver Uncut News, number 443-839-8412. If you'd like to support Uncut News, support. You heard Kelly Vaughn. Support. Go, girl. Have a great day, folks. I'm out of here.